Hi there, this is John Barton from JB Cases. Um, a lot of people ask me, how should I uh, take care of the leather on my case? Well, basically the leather is sealed up, so all you really need to do is kind of keep it moisturized um, about once a year, maybe once, maybe two times a year, depends on, on the climate that you live in. Um, you can use any number of leather conditioners, but what we recommend is, uh, is just whatever you can, you can find that's easily available. Um, this is Lexol. This stuff here you can get at Walmart, you can get at most, most leather shops, most shoe shops. Um, it works pretty good. So I would say you could just go ahead and use that. Now what you want to do is you don't want to overuse it. You just need a pretty light coat uh, on your new case. Um, you don't want to go crazy on it. The only time you want to go nuts on this stuff is when you when you have an old piece of leather that you're restoring, you want to put on a light coat, let it soak in, do another coat, and so on, until you, you, you feel like that the moisture level is good with the leather. Um, this is basically skin cream. It's hand cream for your leather. So, uh, so basically that's good. You can also use, uh, you can use olive oil um, to do this. You could use uh, any, kind of, any kind of leather conditioner like Dr. Jackson's or, or just, just go online and you can find hundreds of them. You can just send an email to the people who sell it and say, look, this is what I've got. What do you recommend? And they, a lot of them will just mix you up a formula. So let me go ahead and do this on a case real quick and show you what I'm talking about. Now, one thing I recommend is if you've got some foam rubber, little foam rubber pieces like this, um, this is good for getting it into the crevices and uh, in the small spots and places like that where you normally won't be able to get into with a rag. So you want to take, for your rag, you just want to use, use a nice, a terry cloth towel that you really don't care about. Um, just a normal washcloth will be fine. And you want to blot, okay? Now this is very important. Okay, you want to blot this stuff out. You don't want to take a big blob of it and put it on one place. So if you have a, if you happen to have an extra piece of, of leather, or cloth or something. So here I've got a I've got a burnisher. So I'm going to use that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit of oil on my cloth. As you can see, now you don't want to blob that right onto the leather. You kind of want to blot it out a little bit. Blot it out a little bit and let it soak into the other piece. Then you can go ahead and lightly swipe across the case like this. So you'll see what I'm doing here. Then I'm taking it and I'm lightly swiping across the case like this. Okay, so get in all the corners. And do that until you don't see any on there anymore. So I got about, I got about enough on there to get about half of this. So I'm gonna put a little bit more. So from back here, Again, put a little bit on here. Let it soak in a little bit, blot it out. Then just rub it into the case. Okay, and just take your time. Take your time and really get into all the spaces in here. Just like you're painting the case. Really go ahead and get in on all the seams. Any of the seams and the stress points, this is where you're really going to need to do it because you want them, you don't want those points to crack and break. See here, I'm just going over it nicely, getting nice good coverage all the way over. Now, on the side of this case, I've got tooling on here, so I'm going to have to, to go over that a little bit better in a moment. But for the time, I just want to, I want to go over all the smooth leather, make sure I'm really working it in good there. Okay, if you have a butterfly case like this, it's easier to lay it out. That 
that's it. Just go over it. Just make sure you get it in, in all the spaces underneath the handles. Very important to get underneath the handles. Get the leather there because these are the stress points that need to be kept moisturized so the leather will stay tough. Otherwise, it just dries and cracks. Basically, you want to treat this like you would treat your own skin. Okay, when you start to feel your skin cracking, what do you do? Go put some moisturizer on it. You know, and I'm going a little bit quickly here, but what you want to do is just take some time. Sit down by the TV for about an hour and just carefully go over it until you're sure that you've got every little part done. Once you do that, you've protected it for another year. And I say year, I mean, that's arbitrary. You could do this every month if you wanted to, but you just, you just don't want to go crazy. Don't overload it with too much oil or moisturizer. You just look at your leather and see how it feels. Okay, now, you can take a little bit of this and put it on, the, on a piece of foam rubber Okay, blot that off. Then you can use that to really get inside the cracks. And here I'll show you. This is really good for being able to get inside underneath underneath the uh, the parts here where it's uh, it's a little bit tougher to get in with a rag because that foam rubber will go right in there. Those fibers just go right in. Really get up under there and they get in places where you can't get with a normal rag. You can use a Q-tip if you want. Any kind, of, any kind of device that'll just allow you to get in all the small spaces. That's really good for that. So, now what I like to do here is, after I've gotten the, after I've gotten the legs all on, all the way I want, then I'll take the dry side of the cloth and I'll just lightly buff it. Okay, so I'll just buff. What I'm doing here is I'm getting a nice shine. I'm going to show you real quick how, how nice this dragon shines up. Now, not sure if you can see this, but see how nicely that dragon shines up on there? And you buff it out. And like I said, again, there's a... There's really tons of leather conditioners out there that you can use. So anything, I mean, just go on the net and start reading about it. We basically use uh, mostly veg tan saddle type leather. We use Napa. Just ask us what your case is made of and then type it into Google and you'll come up with dozens of leather conditioners that are made just exactly for your type of leather. So that's it in a nutshell. Uh, again, this is John Barton from JB Cases. Thank you very much for um, taking a look at our video and uh, if you need a case jbcases.com and if you have one of our cases thank you very much for the business we appreciate it um, thanks a lot take care bye bye